Hello everyone, in today's video I thought we'd be answering a question that I saw when I was uh, trolling around the Discord the other day. I was going to do something on that new cargo, but I know that they're kind of still playing with it, so I didn't want to mess with it too much. So we're going to take a look at reference points today. So a couple quick tips with reference points. Uh, first of all, when you need to create a reference point, make sure you're on the right side before you create it. So in this case, I'm actually using nature as my example to keep things a little bit simpler. The second thing you want to watch out for is when you create reference points, uh, you can do so by coming up here, going reference points, you can head out, add new reference point. Uh, the other thing I like to do is press control insert and then just kind of click my mouse when you first place a reference point it's going to be unselected now you're saying oh that's not that big a deal well let me show you what happens here all right cool all right let's go ahead and make a box out of these oops uh, you can see we got that one bonus one that we forgot to select or you run into this situation where you cross select a bunch of them and they go whoops and you want to kind of quickly deselect them and ah it starts making me absolutely insane let me go ahead and shut off sentinel there to make it a little bit easier for you so the other quick tip i just want to share with uh, reference points i'm going to go ahead and delete those is if you hold down the control key and hit right click you can actually define areas right away so for example i can define an area rectangle drag a box ta-da now i can press Control delete to get rid of them Control right click i can say define area circle and we're going to be drawing from the center of the circles in that case shame on me for doing such a bad job on that one let me go ahead and see if i can prove upon it there we go and that looks good enough for me uh, the one downside to using the circle is obviously you've created quite a bit of extra data that we need to calculate if we're working in areas but you can see just how quickly and easily i go bang and go ahead and create it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and create two separate areas. I'm going to go ahead and create this one on this island here. Why not? And I'll go ahead and create myself a second area over on this set of islands here. So many of you have probably experimented a little bit with the Reference Points Manager, which is this really neat tool that gives you the ability to basically create no nav zones, environment zones, exclusion zones, pretty much all that stuff that had separate menus before. But one of the other things I really, really like about it is it has this little down thing down here for tags. Now you're saying... Wait, why, why, would you, why would you need a tag? Like, uh, what, what, what's the purpose of that? Well, this gives you the ability now to create things specific. So for example, um, let's say I want to create a tag for a waypoint uh, 106 here. I can also do something simple like saying uh, north, east, uh, I'll say, I'll call it a west waypoint. Of course, I can't tell my direction some days. West WP. So I'll go ahead and add that as one of the possible tags here. Actually, before you do that, you have to add that as a possibility. So now we have West Waypoint. Now I also know that Waypoint 113 is also West Waypoint. So I'm gonna come down to 113 to go ahead and add that little detail as well. I'm gonna go over to 106, so go ahead, no, actually 110, I'm sorry. Add that as a little waypoint. And now we have these two that have been tagged for us. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and deselect all these chaps here. We'll go ahead and grab these two. We got 107 and 108. We'll grab 107, we'll create ourselves a brand new tag. We'll call it East Waypoint. Whoa, <laughs> war emergency power, wrong thing. Grab that one, we'll go ahead and grab a 107 and we'll say that that goes ahead and becomes tagged as well. Pop that on there real fast and we'll grab a 108 here and go ahead and make that tagged as well. So now what I've done is I've created a bunch of these little tags to make it a little bit easier to organize my specific waypoints. So let's say I wanna go ahead and go even further. I'm gonna grab this whole zone, I'll go ahead and create a new tag and I'll call this a West Zone, just as an example, create that. I'm gonna go ahead and add them as a tag uh, we want to add them to, I should say, of course, make sure you select the correct elements when you do this. So this is actually, uh, does that make sense? 106? Uh, 106 is not one of those. So let's remove the tag. Shame on me for not clicking properly. Uh, so we need 110, we need a 113, and we need ourselves 112, and we need 111. Let's go ahead and tag all of those with West Zone. So now you can see that that zone has now got itself an extra tag as well. So let's go ahead and come over here, go ahead and minimize that, grab these two here, 106, 107, 109, 108. 106, you're now going to be known as East Zone. Add that as a new tag. Let's go ahead and grab a 106. I need 107. I need 108. I need 109. Let's go ahead and add those all as tags. And now you can see all these items are tagged by what particular purpose they have. Again, keep in mind, you can rename these any which way you want. Now, the reason I love this feature is if I'm creating like a combat air patrol, I can go in here and tag a specific area as being the cap area in addition to the ASW area, for example, if, depending on what you're trying to achieve. Now, let's say I go ahead and deselect everything real quick. I'm going to create a quick area. So now I can just go, oh, let me just go shuttle these boxes off, leaving just the west zone waypoints visible. Oh, solid. Let's go ahead and grab that right there. That looks pretty good. Come over here. You know, I'm actually going to change the uh, color of these because um, why not? Green's cool. And now I've gone ahead and flagged them. And if you look on the map now, 
they're actually conveniently coordinated for us for that purpose. So now I can shut them off, I can grab my East Zone, I can grab all my East Zonies, and uh, we're going to go ahead and make my East Zoney homies uh, I'll go with this kind of uh, pink color. And just like that, I can now quickly identify what's going on in the field. Now, if I wanted to create an area, I can actually come over here and create an area. For example, I want my East Zone to be just a, kind of a regular zone. So go ahead and in um, anything, we want to add all points. We're going to go ahead and uh, validate it, make sure it's okay. Area validation is fine. Come over here and we'll kind of say the Easties, because why not? And of course, if we wanted to, we could come in here and you know go all the way with that and go ahead and apply a certain color. Well, I'd press the save. Notice it didn't grab any of the points here. You have to actually select the points in order to have them added on the map. But you can see now that I've selected that area, go ahead and validate it. It's going to be perfectly fine. Go ahead and save that zone. And now, ta-da! I now have a zone that I can quickly summon just by playing with the tags that you can see right here. And one of the neatest things, you can come down here and actually transform zones. Like if I wanted to make that an exclusion zone, I could just press that and go pop. So now I've gone ahead and converted it into an exclusion zone. So now I can go in here and change all my violators and all my properties and if I want submarines and stuff. So it's a super handy way to deal with the amount of reference points you're going to have. You know, in a typical strike mission, if I'm doing like an air, land, sea, land, or I think I had two lands there. I just like land strikes. What can I say? It's not unusual to have, you know, 40, 50 of these different reference points and be able to tag them and change the color. It just makes your life so much simpler. So other than that, enjoy.